The U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA, has selected General Atomics to manufacture an air-launchable unmanned aircraft capable of launching air-to-air -air missiles within the framework of its Longshot program. General Atomics has expressed its intention to commence flight testing of this drone by the end of the year. This development is expected to grant fighter and bomber aircraft increased versatility in engaging aerial threats over extended distances. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Long Shot Drone program will be a game changer for the U.S. military. Let's get into the details. Before we proceed, a word on NordVPN, which is one of the most trusted VPN brands worldwide that has a no-log policy validated by Deloitte, an industry-leading Big Four auditing firm. NordVPN provides an encrypted tunnel that protects your privacy by preventing external entry to your internet traffic, as well as enabling you to access content that's blocked based on geolocation. Best of all, with one NordVPN account, you can secure up to six devices at the same time. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal with massive savings by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The U.S. Air Force, as well as American allies, have large fleets of non-stealthy fighter planes and bombers. Some countries are using American fighters as is, like Saudi Arabia. Some have customized versions like Japan and Israel, whereas others have deployed their own jets, like France. These jets were not designed to be stealthy and have fairly large radar cross-section (RCS), which makes them very vulnerable to a potent air defense system like the S-400, as well as low observable fighters like Su-57. This is where the long shot program comes in. This technology can be viewed as a method to increase the effective range of the launch platform during aerial combat, simultaneously reducing its exposure to enemy aircraft and air defenses. The drone is expected to accompany other aerial assets in combat and undertake the most dangerous tasks. The program will design, fabricate, and flight test a demonstration system to prove the feasibility of the long shot concept. According to the program description in the Pentagon's fiscal year 2024 budget proposal unveiled in March, the long shot program is developing and flight demonstrating an air launched unmanned aerial vehicle, UAV, capable of engaging multiple adversary targets from standoff ranges using existing air-to-air -air missiles. Longshot will be deployed either externally from existing fighters or internally from existing bombers. It adds, this system will capitalize on a slower speed, fuel-efficient air vehicle for ingress while retaining highly energetic air-to-air -air missiles for end-game target engagements, which provides several key benefits that increase weapon effectiveness. This program will address the stability and control challenges of launching air-to-air -air missiles from a relatively small UAV in an operational environment. General Atomics was picked alongside Northrop Grumman and Lockheed Martin to provide preliminary designs for Longshot's first phase in February 2021. C. Mark Brinkley, GAASI's Senior Director of Strategic Communications and Marketing, said in a statement, Begun in 2020, General Atomics was competitively awarded a contract to develop DARPA's concept for disruptive air combat operations through demonstration of an air-to-air -air weapon capable air vehicle. The concept seeks to significantly increase engagement range and mission effectiveness of current fourth-gen fighters and air-to-air -air missiles. Brinkley added, Over the last three years, GAASI has iterated on numerous vehicle designs to optimize performance and will begin flight testing in December 2023. The testing will validate basic vehicle handling characteristics and lay the foundation for follow-on development and testing.
the newly designed concept art from GAASI presents a strikingly altered design compared to the one showcased by the company two years ago. In this updated rendering, the uncrewed aircraft features an elongated fuselage, small canards at the front, reverse swept main wings positioned toward the rear, and a distinctive inverted V-shaped twin tail arrangement. Notably, the main wings appear to be designed for deployment after launch. Additionally, it includes a compact, streamlined extension resembling a tail behind a top-mounted dorsal engine air intake and a chined nose. The updated artist rendition of Longshot depicts the drone launching an AIM-120 Advanced Medium-Range Air-to-Air Missile, or AMRAM. It's currently unclear whether the intention is for the drone to carry these missiles externally or within an internal bay, as was previously proposed. In the background, there's also the Boeing F-15 fighter aircraft bearing U.S. Air Force markings. DARPA is seeking slightly over $44 million for the continuation of Longshot in fiscal year 2024, an increase from the $36 million allocated in the previous fiscal cycle. The stated objectives for the upcoming fiscal year include finalizing the construction of flight test vehicles and integrating them onto host aircraft. Additionally, DARPA plans to conduct captive carry testing of the flight test vehicle and initiate a series of flight demonstrations to validate the separation of air-to-air -air missiles from the host flight test vehicle. Longshot would give American strategies much more flexibility with its extended reach. The capability of Longshot to launch a missile in close proximity to the target will result in the weapon maintaining a significant amount of kinetic energy, rendering it more challenging for the target aircraft to evade. Employing these difficult-to-detect systems in a counter-air role will considerably complicate the adversary's capacity to defend against aerial engagements. Longshot could also launch missiles like AGM-88 Harm to neutralize land-based air defense systems. It's not hard to see how this could significantly enhance the capabilities of an aircraft like F-15EX, which could stay back and act as a sensor and communication hub, while the Longshot penetrate deeper into heavily defended areas to eliminate enemy aircraft. Viewers may note that U.S. companies like Raytheon and Lockheed Martin are building new air-to-air -air missile like Peregrine and Cuda that are smaller than current weapons and will be more suitable for use with a drone like Longshot. It's evident that the program has immense potential since it could breathe new life into legacy aerial assets and have a major impact on how they take on rivals in the skies. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.